Singer and actor Tyrese Darnell Gibson was born and raised in Watts, Los Angeles, California. His mother raised him and his three older siblings as a single parent after his father left. Tyrese's father not being in the picture may have been a good thing, considering he was a drug addict and alcoholic. Tyrese's mother dealt with her share of challenges as an alcoholic as well. He told Access Hollywood in 2013, My childhood was probably one of the worst childhood experiences ever. You're talking about gangs and prostitution, drugs, and physically being there witnessing murders happening. So nothing about my childhood was easy. Not surprisingly, Tyrese would end up attending a school for children with behavioral challenges for many years. The environment, he says, made him feel imprisoned, conditioned, and brainwashed. Another issue he had no control over and couldn't escape was the constant criticism about his dark skin. I had never felt a piece of handsome. I had never felt a piece of being cute. I had never heard compliments throughout my childhood. I never got any attention from the ladies. I caught every joke in the dark skin community ever. I was black, burnt, tarp. I was all teeth and eyes. I was purple, black and purple. And I just never felt attractive, ever. Tyrese would eventually get kicked out of the institution and enroll in a local high school where he would finally feel comfortable enough to express himself. And that he did through his love of music and support from his music teacher, who also became a father figure to him. Before long, he was getting straight A's and ended up graduating in three years instead of four. Tyrese's career actually got kicked off while he was still in high school with a very memorable appearance in a television commercial at the age of 16. That opportunity ended up being the springboard to him working with other major brands, such as Guess and Tommy Hilfiger. A few years later, Tyrese signed his first record deal with RCA Records. His debut single, called Nobody Else, was released in August 1998. It quickly rose on the Billboard Hot 100 chart, making it into the top 40. His self-titled debut album dropped the following month. Right away, it claimed a top 20 position on the album chart. Two other singles were released, Lately and Sweet Lady, the latter of which became the album's biggest hit, reaching the top 10 on the R&B charts and earned Tyrese a Grammy nomination for Best R&B Male Vocal Performance. Debrat tapped into Tyrese's talent to help her song, What You Like, get more love on the charts by featuring him on the unforgettable hook. The track went on to become a top 30 pop and top 10 R&B hit. Tyrese released his second effort titled 2000 Watts in the spring of 2001. Three singles were released, including Just a Baby Boy, featuring Snoop Dogg and Mr. Tan. The song also appeared on the soundtrack to the 2001 coming of age hood dramedy film, Baby Boy, Tyrese's first major acting role and what would jumpstart a long and successful acting career. After RCA disbanded, he went on to ink a deal with J Records. There, he released his third studio album, titled I Wanna Go There in 2002. His first single from the album, and arguably his most successful to date, How You Gonna Act Like That, became a top 10 pop and top five R&B hit. Getting back to acting, Tyrese introduced the role of Roman Pierce in the second Fast and Furious film, 2003's Too Fast, Too Furious. He fit right in on set, playing alongside his close friend, the late Paul Walker, and guided by baby boy director, the late John Singleton. He reprised the role in the franchise's 2011, 2013, 2015, 2017, and 2021 installments. He will also be a part of Fast X, the 10th one of the series, set to be released in May 2023. In the summer of 2006, Tyrese got his first taste of number one success as a featured artist on Chingy's track, Pulling Me Back. It hit the top spot on the R&B and rap charts and went top 10 on the Hot 100. Also that year, Tyrese released his fourth album and first double album, Alter Ego. It was also his first album in which he debuts his rapping persona. The first disc contained his tried and true slow and mid-tempo pop and R&B songs, while the second, Black Tie, named after his onstage rapper alter ego, focuses on hip hop and up-tempo beats. Here's a little taste of Tyrese's rhyming skills during an interview back in 2000. Uh, uh. After your record will flop, uh, be aware the girls will be ignoring ya. I'm in Jacksonville, Florida. 
getting on stage, freestyle off the mind. I can't get used to this, I don't do it all the time, but I'm top notch from Watts. Well, I stop, no way, reaching the top number one. It's where I plan to stay, I'm done. <laughs> More roles and major blockbusters came his way when Tyrese portrayed the role of Sergeant Robert Epps in the science fiction action film Transformers, giving Tyrese the opportunity to reprise his role in the 2009 and 2011 sequels. He would have participated in the 2017 sequel as well, but was unable to due to scheduling conflicts. Tyrese then came together with two other R&B stars, Genuine and Tank, to form supergroup TGT in 2007. It took them a while, but they finally came out with a full album in 2013 titled Three Kings. Two years later, they would go their separate ways, reportedly due to their strained relationship. Afterwards, according to both Tank and Genuine, it was revealed that things got shut down due to Tyrese's refusal to split their earnings evenly. Tyrese walked down the aisle for the first time in 2007 when he married Norma Mitchell. They had one child, a daughter, before splitting two years later. He returned to music in 2011 when he released his fifth album, Open Invitation. It was preceded by the lead single, Stay, which just missed a top 10 R&B placement, coming in at number 11 on the chart. The project also earned him another Grammy nomination for Best R&B Album. Tyrese added the title of author to his name when he published his first book, titled How to Get Out of Your Own Way. Two years later, in 2013, he co-authored his second, along with close friend Rev Run, titled Manology, Secrets of Your Man's Mind Revealed. Both books became New York Times bestsellers. Tyrese has described himself as a born-again Christian, and throughout his life and career, has consistently prayed over his trials and tribulations, and given thanks for all of his blessings. When I was in Watts, South Central LA, and I was on the block, and I was hungry, and I was broke, and I f seen and witnessed every level of dysfunction there is. God put hope in me beyond my circumstances. Black Rose, Tyrese's sixth album, dropped in 2015 and debuted at number one on the album chart, the first time ever in his nearly two-decade career. In interviews, he claimed that the project would act as his final album due to having been granted joint legal and physical custody of his eight-year-old daughter with his ex-wife and didn't want to continue pulling disappearing acts to chase his music dreams. He also spoke quite passionately about how he wanted the album to serve as a message to radio about how little respect the R&B genre receives and how much more it deserves. I'm sending this as a message to radio. I had a song called Stay. Mm -hmm. Envy knows all about it. Classic right? record. Right? Mm -hmm. Stay was number one for 11 weeks on Billboard. Mm -hmm. Sam Smith had a song called Stay. Sam Smith's song had a full choir on it. Sam Smith's record was played on all formats of radio. Top 40, rhythmic, crossover. Urban. He's got an urban, right? Now, Sam Smith ain't step, step foot into any of these urban radio stations, mm. but yet urban radio is going all out supporting it. If you want a radio spin, you got to do so much radio promo is out of control. Meet and greets, interviews, you got to call in, you got to do something. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm not attacking Sam Smith. I'm not competitive. This is not ego, no nothing. I'm talking about facts because you're talking about money. Now I can tell my truth. There you go. I ain't got to be politically correct. Mm -hmm. I think right now it's time to be more fair. If we showing love on urban radio to Robin Thicke, Justin Timberlake, and Sam Smith, who's singing R&B soul, and I'm a fan, mm -hmm. then it needs to work on both sides. In 2016, Tyrese and Rev Run came together to host a new TV talk show called It's Not You, It's Men. The OWN Network series featured conversations with various celebrities focusing on topics related to marriage, sex, and relationships. Only two months of episodes aired before it was officially canceled. Then, Tyrese would post a video to Facebook that would not only go viral, but have a lot of people concerned for his mental well-being. On November 1st, 2017, he took to Facebook to post a nearly seven minute long video in which he started out talking about his feud with Dwayne The Rock Johnson and then moved to addressing his ex-wife Norma and their constant child support and custody issues concerning their daughter Shayla. He did so wearing a Shayla Rock sweatshirt. Tyrese then began to cry and pace around the room. I've been, I've been away from my baby for two months. <laughs> I just want my baby. I just want my baby. 
And no one's listening because no one's in the courtroom. I'm not doing anything illegal. I'm not doing anything illegal, but I don't want nobody. Oh my God, am I doing something illegal by doing this video? Or is this, am I protected by the, the, the first right amendment or the amendment? Don't take my baby. I'm at $13,000 a month. What more do you want from me? <laughs> In court documents, Norma accused Tyrese of abusing their daughter, saying he had pushed, grabbed, pinned her down, and beat her with his hands on one particular occasion. She even alleged that Tyrese had physically and emotionally abused her during their relationship. Tyrese added some tea of his own to the mix when he revealed in an interview that the only reason he married her was so she could stay in the U.S., as she is originally from London, England. He claimed she was pregnant at the time and he didn't want to be in a situation where he would have to go back and forth to the UK just to see his child. The many years long battle between the former spouses have also included a restraining order against Tyrese, child services getting involved, and Tyrese flying a banner over his daughter's school with a message professing his love for her. In an effort to get even more things off his chest on that same day as the viral crying video, Tyrese also posted a photo on his Instagram of himself. Vin Diesel and The Rock with a caption claiming that if The Rock was in Fast 9, he wouldn't be. Apparently, Tyrese was none too pleased about his paycheck for his role in the ninth installment being delayed to make room for the release of a spin-off The Rock was starring in, Fast and Furious Presents Hobbs and Shaw. Eventually, the beef would get squashed. Later, Tyrese would explain that he didn't have any recollection of recording or posting anything because he was on psych meds at the time to deal with all the drama going on in his life. During the trial, Norma was unable to provide evidence to back up her claims, and Tyrese was exonerated. Tyrese found love again and married for the second time on February 14th, 2017 to Samantha Lee. Their daughter was born the following year. In December 2020, the couple announced they were divorcing. Nearly two years later, in September 2022, Tyrese took to Instagram to tell his side of the story in a series of posts spread out over a couple of days. This woman went on record with court documents, lied, and said that I kicked her and my one-year-old innocent baby out of the house. How can I do some shit like that when I was physically in New Jersey? She lied on me, bro. I left the set early. They tried to sue me for $400,000 because I left the movie set three hours early before I was supposed to rap. And I was on a mission to save my marriage and save my family. I never cheated on this woman. I've never kissed another woman in five years. The only woman I kissed in five years was Naomi Harris on her forehead in the movie Black and Blue. There is no baby on the way. There is no side chick. There's no abortion. There's none of the shit that can cause somebody to say, fuck, I'm out. So you got an agenda. You're going to get pregnant have a whole baby, push a whole baby out, an innocent child that never asked to be here. And all you want to do is milk another celebrity for money. Samantha's response came in the form of a cease and desist order, which Tyrese mentioned in another IG post, promising to do just that until he has his day in court. Tyrese hasn't had to weather this storm alone though. In March, 2021, just a few months after his divorce announcement, he began dating model Zelly Timothy. It appears they got close and comfortable with one another very quickly, since the very next month, Zelly posted a video, no one asked for, of her new man shaving her nether regions. Their relationship, however, has had its rocky moments, including a brief split in July, 2022. After announcing that his 2015 album would be his last, and while working through all the hurt and emotions he experienced dealing with his divorce, Tyrese did become inspired to get back into the studio again. Currently, he has plans to release a live double album called Beautiful Pain in 2023.